Southwest TV News in partnership with the Canadian Curling Association and Sask Energy, the champion of volunteers, present Behind the Scenes with Team Canada. Prospect of the one two game any more relaxing than the three four? Yeah, it's kind of exciting twice in one year. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty excited about it. It's, uh, and I think guess we'll play for Hammer tonight. Obviously, you rebounded from a poor effort last night. Yeah, we did. I thought we played well today. Um, you know, we didn't really ever get ourselves into any kind of trouble and, and controlled the game, which was good. And it was nice to bounce back after a loss. Talk a little bit about Scotland and what you know about that team. We played them a bunch of times, um, actually. Not this team, because Jackie obviously isn't here. But, uh, you know, uh, it's it's just play, like playing anybody else. I mean, they obviously make a lot of shots, and they're playing well this week. We're going to have to come out and play well and, you know, play for Hammer, which is kind of fun. Both of us will know, well, I guess they'll have to win. they got to win the Yeah, game, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we'll... I don't know. Right. Just we'll go there. How many times have you played them, roughly? Yeah. Do you think? Oh, recently? God, you guys. I'm terrible at that stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. We play them actually quite a bit. It seems like we play them lots. We've definitely played them five or six times over the course of the last, probably even ten times over the course of the last two or three years. So, And I think, yeah, so far we've got a fairly good record against them, but um, that can change at any given time. Is it what are the playoffs like compared to round robin here? How does that change? Does it? Does the game? We we have football players talk about it being intensity, the speed, the the air tastes different. <laughs> yeah, I mean the biggest thing is you're the only game out there, so it's and you, you definitely have a you're usually a little bit more intense, but we're we're pretty feisty competitors during the round robin as well, and and uh, you know we like to end the round robin on a good note, and hopefully we'll come out and play really sharp tonight and use that momentum heading into the playoffs. Do you like being that team on the ice? Because that's what people dream about being the one team out there. What's yeah. it like to be that team? Out well, there? that's what you play for. That's the the adrenaline rush, the excitement, and and obviously being in Canada, everybody's cheering for us, which is is super cool, and and uh, it's moments of a lifetime, and and that's what we don't. That's what those are the moments you don't forget. Win or lose, you don't forget those moments, and and we're really excited that we get to experience it again. Does your experience help you deal with those moments of a lifetime? Because you've been in these. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, like I, I always say, I don't think you need experience, but experience definitely helps, and we know what to expect. We know how to calm our nerves. We know how to soak up the moment because we've been there before, and, and you never think, you always think it might be your last, so you want to enjoy it, and, and you know, you never know. So we're going to go out there in the playoffs and, and hopefully do our thing and, and give ourselves a shot. Will you approach these playoffs any differently than last year's playoffs? Um... Well, not really. We approached them the same. Hopefully we'll have a better result. But, uh, you know, we we went into the playoffs a little bit different last year in the sense that we lost a couple of bad games and put ourselves in a bad spot. And whereas here we've, we've had control in our own hands and we won a game we had to win. And so it's just a different kind of momentum going in. Jennifer, you mentioned that you learned more from losses. You mentioned 91 specifically yeah. in 2002. What did you learn from those games? I don't know. I just think you, you you just have to lose the big one to realize that it's just a game and, and life goes on, the sun comes up the next day and, and just to go out there and have fun and enjoy it. And I think I, in 91 I was 15 or 16 years old, so you kind of, you know, you're just like shell-shocked. And, and in 2002, like I said, I missed the last shot to win a game and I, and I think after that I just learned to, to enjoy the moment and, and we've been fortunate enough to be on the other side of those games quite, you know, more often than not. So you weren't always as sort of philosophical about curling? No, I was 15. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I've always had pretty good perspective on it actually. I've always just loved to compete and you know, I've felt pretty privileged with how many wins that we've managed to have and, and I still, like I look at my ring and I can't, I can't believe it. So um, I'm still such a in awe over it and, and, and I think that that helps us with you know just going out there and having fun and enjoying it. You said you love the feeling of being out there and what is it describe that feeling? I don't know you get an adrenaline rush you're I mean of course your 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 heart races and you get this adrenaline rush and who doesn't like that it's like a roller coaster you know it's fun and it, but it's also relaxing it's the one time where you're totally in the moment in your life like your blackberry can't go off and nothing can happen you know you're just out there playing and doing what you love to do and there's not many people in in life that get to do what they love to do all the time and we do and we're really lucky for that well you have a pretty busy life I mean, you have a yeah. full-time job as a corporate lawyer and as you say is it that moment where you can actually just put that all aside yeah. Yeah, it's the one moment where it's just all about one thing, and, and it's awesome. And, and, you know, we have a lot of laughs out there. We have a lot of fun, and, and uh, we've kind of grown up together, this team, and it's been a great 
great experience and a great ride, and, and uh, you know, hopefully there's more to come. You talk about last year's loss more than win. Is that, some, is that the fact that you lost in the final last year a little more motivating for you? Here? We didn't oh, know. We, the, no, no, we didn't win. even make the point. I know. Sorry, you know what I mean. You talk about last year more than uh, No, just year. because you guys have been asking me about last year. You don't talk about the win. <laughs> well, that's what talk about. The, the win, win was fun. We went through. Jinx bringing it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, the win was great. I mean, we were in the one-two game that year. Okay. I know. Everybody forgets about that. We lost to China. Um, and then we came back and beat Japan in a really dramatic way in the semifinal. And, and that's probably one of the best, most memorable games of my life was that game against Japan. So that, uh, that is a game that I'll never forget and I talk about all the time. Do you explain the difference in atmosphere between a place like Yang, Yung, and in here? Well, uh, people are feeling, talking feeling. amongst themselves when the curling's going on, like they're watching, which is nice. Yeah, um, yeah. But Gang Yoon did a great job. Like, they did a really great job. They just don't know a lot about curling, but that's why we have to have world championships there yeah. so that the sport can grow. And But, the you know, and the ice here has been really consistent all week there. We had a little bit of issues with some frost, and, and um, I, I feel a lot more comfortable with the ice here than I did last year. You're playing in the Players' Championship too? Yeah. You've done a lot of curling. People could probably say, yeah, you could take a break. Or is that something the Players' that Championship is one of my favorite events to play in. It's uh, it's super fun. And, and with the Capital One Cup, it's it's a big event for us. So, And who doesn't? I told you, I love to do this. It's not work. It's great. And we get to go out there and do what we love to do and have fun and laugh and smile and soak it up. Do you ever think you'd be curling in the last weekend of April? We sure? have the last few years. So, <laughs> But, yeah, our season's pretty long now. It goes from September to April. So it's... Uh, it's a pretty grueling schedule and it's pretty demanding and if you didn't love it it would be pretty it would be impossible to do. And if you talk about growing the game, Eve's nineteen, there's a lot of young girls out in the ice this week. Just can you talk about that? I think it's awesome. I mean you look at Sweet and you look at Eve Muirhead and um, the, even the, the Chinese aren't very they're not very old and, and it's been great. Like all of the growth amongst all of the European the Russians are quite young. I think mm -hmm. some of them were in the juniors. Um, it's been great. Like they've come from juniors and really made that transition to ladies, which we don't see as much in Canada because of the depth of our of our field and I, they're getting a ton of experience and you can see it see it growing curling which is it's amazing for our game and I hope that trend continues. You're also talking about making rule changes like going to eight ends and stuff what are your thoughts on that? You know uh, eight ends we play eight ends in the, the I like ten ends I don't know the reason I just like it but we play maybe because we have to come from behind all the time um, <laughs> but we play eight ends all the time in the world curling tour and, and I, we like it there too so that's fine. I mean, if we can grow the game, if it's better for TV and better for audiences, then I'm in favor of it. Um, I don't like, there was some talk about some, what are the other changes? Yeah, like tie break? Yeah, I don't like that at all. I don't think you should be eliminated based on, no, I think you should have to play that game. And, and that, there to me, that's not even, that's, that wouldn't even, you would never convince me that that's the right way, way to go. What changes would you like to see? I don't know. Um, <laughs> quite happy with the game the way it is. So I don't know. I, I yeah, I, I uh, yeah, I, it's. I think it's it's good. I I think they should do a, a pre-event skill-based ranking here, so that if you do both cover the pin instead of a flip of a coin, that the rest of the team is involved and that's how it's determined. But that's how we do it at the Scotties, and I'm not so sure why they don't do it at the Worlds.